Quinn? Well, if it ain't the bloody Grim Reaper himself. What are you talking about? Christ almighty, lad. You got half the garrison shedding themselves and afraid you got on patrol. Look, I don't want no trouble. You hear? The commander said to help you. That's what I'll do. Just, just don't kill me, all right? I got children. Eat them. Well, look, I, I don't really have yet, but uh, all right, all right. I, I don't really have any. Just, just don't fucking shoot me. Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. Well, whether that's true or not, I'll take some comfort knowing there's three inches of bulletproof glass between us. Look, Keitner said you can help me. Can you? Yeah. She told me to be expecting you. I'm just glad you came as soon as you did instead of going off on your own. There's enough kegs of powder lying around here already without throwing another loose cannon in the mix. You know how much we're risking to keep you off the radar? We've only got so much pull around here. It's Burke's show, and he'll do as he bloody well pleases which means stamping out any rats the moment he gets wind of them. I'm grateful, but can we get on with it? I understand you run a nice little sideline in procurement. Aye. From time to time, you might say being inclined to do a little, uh, how should we call it? Bartering. On the side. Since the commander signed off on it, I suppose I could open my stock to you. For a price, that is. You mean I have to pay? What? Of course you have to bloody well pay. I ain't exactly a fucking army quartermaster down here. I'm just a civvy contractor trying to make ends meet. This ain't a bleeding charity. Considering the circumstances... Circumstances? What, that you're a fugitive, and I'm risking my neck just talking to you? What are you trying to pull here? Although, I don't suppose you had anything to do with a stasis pod that was saved back on the ship. How do you know about that? Ah, so it was you, eh? Well, let's just say I have my sources and your little random act of kindness didn't go unnoticed. Tell you what, I'll give you a discount on my wares. Just... No freebies or handouts. But now that I think of it, if you're looking for a little something for nothing and don't mind a little light work, I've got an iron that could use running. Consider it a special offer of sorts. Interested? It's obvious you're not a bell tower sympathizer. So if there's anything more you can do to increase my odds of getting off this base alive, I'd appreciate it. Because I like you and, uh, because seeing you get your arse killed or captured would put a damper on me day. 
I'll open a special stock to you. It's normally reserved for another uh, client, but as long as you're paying. What exactly do you do here, Quinn? In a more civilized world, you might say I pass for the basis lead maintenance engineer. But if you look at it from Baltar's point of view, I might as well just be a glorified janitor. Pay's good, though, so, you know, not complaining. If the pay's good, why the underground market? Well, why not? You see, civilian contractors operate under different jurisdiction when it comes to bringing outside goods into the base. So while the rank and file grunts can only order and receive essentials, toothpaste and the like, I, being the entrepreneurial chap that I am, offer a more uh, robust catalog of goods and services. You know the sort. Smokes, beverages, and uh, gentlemen's literature. How does this involve weapons? Now, now, let me finish. As an enterprising fellow, I require an exchange of valuables for these slightly less than essential supplies, and often receive some very non-civilian contractor regulated equipment in exchange, if you catch me drift. Now, normally, I launder my stock through a contact on the mainland. But a deal in Shanghai recently fell through, so lucky for you, I've got some excess inventory to move. Consider this whole arrangement uh, a matter of fortunate timing. And Keitner is okay with all of this? Uh, not exactly. You see, some time ago, the commander got wind of my little operation down here. But before she could throw me in the brig, I offered her something I knew she couldn't refuse. Information. I ain't bragging, but uh, I managed to build myself quite a little network of sparrows and gophers. I'd known for a while that she'd been at odds with that prick, Burke. In the end, I reached a rather simple mutual agreement. I keep her in the loop, and she keeps my neck out of the noose, so to speak. What can you tell me about this base? Nothing you don't know, probably. To the outside world, it's a Beltar Naval Logistics Headquarters and Supply Point for their Pacific operations. Beneath the surface, though, it's much, much more. How so? Look, nothing personal yet, but I prefer the commander to most of the informing. As far as I'm concerned, the less I know, and more importantly, the less I say in this matter, the better off we all are. Tell me about the commander, Keitner. Lieutenant Commander, officially. But the grunts don't pay no mind to that. She's the commander as far as they're concerned. It's the Reds who stick to the formalities, you see. Because they're Burke's boys. The Spooks. Special operations. You might say there's a bit of a... division of loyalty among the troops. Between Keitner's men and Burke's? Aye. Since time immortal, there's always been a rivalry of sorts between grunts and Spooks. I always assumed it came down to ego. But it's different here. Probably because Burke's different. What do you mean? Well, for a start, the man might be a righteous prick, but he's got the respect of his men. And the higher-ups think he's a visionary based on some fancy tank he drummed up a few years back. In other words, the man's got a lot of influence and a lot of power, and, uh... Well, I don't think that old proverb needs repeating here. All right, tell me about this special offer. I don't know if you've noticed yet, but this base is packing some serious heat. Especially in the form of those walking brick shithouse boxcars. If you get me a few odds and ends, I might be able to whip up a little something to make getting around easier. If you catch my meaning. What kind of something are we talking about here? Nothing fancy. Just a 329 series NPRS. A rocket launcher? That's right, mate. And custom built. But yours truly, of course. You see, while I might be able to get my fingers on some low-level arms, I'm a little restricted when it comes to military-grade bells and whistles. I'm itching to try out a new trigger propulsion mix. Maybe even recalibrate the guidance system for some extra punch. I like the sound of this. Fuck it, right? You like the sound of this? It's the bollocks. Look, all you gotta do is find me some components. I'll do the rest. An earlier boat had a shipment of 329s, but I wasn't able to poach any of them before they made it to the armory. Luckily, Little Sparrow in my employ managed to lose one through maintenance circulation. But he got himself shit can before I could collect. Now my little butte's lying around the base somewhere in bloody pieces. The launcher, I mean, not the wee man. Though, I have no idea really happened to him. Right, so, long story short, you need me to find the parts and bring them back to you. Yeah, that about sums it up, I'd see. Just find me the trigger module, scope assembly, and launcher barrel, and we're in business. I could scrape up the rest from leftovers here in the shop. I'll see what I can find. Any idea where they are? If I knew that, I would have picked them up myself. You're just gonna have to make do and keep your nose to the ground. Check the obvious places first, like the cargo and receiving areas. 
For his case, someone found one of the parts of brought to administration. But I looked there last. Got it. What are you buying? Funds. Access granted.
So, what's the story? Got those parts for me? Yeah, take a look. Hey, let me see what you got there. Fucking deadly. That's all of them. Give me a sec with me tools, I'll get them sorted out right and proper. Right then, that'll do you. Anything else I could be helping you with then? Buy something or bugger off. Thanks for shopping at Quinn Mart. Is any what are you doing? Activating security scan. Biometric data assembled. Subject recognized. Access. Granted. Jensen, I'm in your detention camp and uploading to the security mainframe now. Copy that. Any problems? Nothing I couldn't get rid of. Yeah, well, we'll talk about that later. Right now, you need to get inside the interrogation wing and find out what Burke is hiding. Contact me when you know. Keitner out. I'm starting to think I can feel a breeze coming through the cracks. This is illegal! 
Where are we? Please call the embassy. They will vouch for me. Security scan. Biometric data assembled. Subject recognized. Access granted. Calm down. I'm not gonna hurt you. You're not one of them? One of the scientists? Please, you've got to get me out of here. You've got to do something before they come back. I don't want to disappear like all the others. Hold on. You said they were coming back? Who? Burke? Is he behind this? I... I'm not sure. He comes around, but not that often. I know he gives the orders around here, but he doesn't seem all that interested in us beyond some psych tests and questioning. He mostly leaves us to the doctors or scientists or whatever they are. Tell me about these scientists. Is one of them a woman named Reed? I don't know. I mean, there is a woman, but her name is Kavanaugh, not Reed. I heard the guard call her that. She's she seems different, like she doesn't like what they're doing to us. 
I can't help but think she's being forced to do these things. The others just treat us like animals. It's horrible. I just want to go home. I want to help you, but you've got to stay calm. Now, what did you mean by disappear like the others? What's been going on back here? I don't know. I heard rumors and seen some things, and I know what they've done to me. Biopsies, blood samples, tissue cores, like I'm some sort of lab rat. Is that why you're back here? Separated from the others? This is where they, they study and examine us to see if we're compatible or something. I don't know what they want from us. Sometimes we're sent back to the cells. Those that aren't. Some of the others think they let them go. But I think they're being sent somewhere else. Another facility, maybe. Somewhere else inside this one. Why? What makes you think that? Because of the way they talk when they're with us. It's like they're looking for some kind of perfect gene match or something. I'm not a doctor. I don't understand it. I just don't want them touching me anymore. It's okay. What's your name? Nina. Nina Sullivan. I don't know why they're holding me in here. They just grabbed me off the street. I heard Cape Town was dangerous, but I thought, with, with all the security around... Cape Town? South Africa? Isn't that where we are? I, I blacked out. They drugged me, I think. I was on vacation in Cape Town at the end of the summer. I was going to be starting senior year in the fall, and I wanted to have an adventure. My parents must be so worried. I take it you're not a terrorist, then? No. I've never done anything wrong. Never demonstrated against anything or anything. But neither have most of the girls here. I'm not sure about the men, but please, can't you get me out of here? I know this is going to seem cruel, but I can't help you right now. You're going to leave me here? You can't. You have no idea what it's like. Please. I can't have you tagging along just yet, or walking the halls alerting the guards. Trust me, when I can get you out, I will. But your best bet is to stay put. Oh, I'll alert them anyway. Burke and the two doctors were just here heading for the morgue. I'll tell them you're here. I will. Let me out or I'll tell them, I swear. And then what? Do you really think they'll let you go? I'm still the best chance you've got, but you have to be patient. Please. Don't go. So what did these ones die of, Savage? A complete neurological breakdown from the looks of it. Organ collapse, nerve degradation. Find him. There's been some trouble on the base. My man will take care of it. You were saying? We may be looking at serious cross-systemic failure issues with the OCM. It's those god-awful implants, Gary. The whole inhumane procedure. After a while, it just burns them out. Has this been happening at the other sites? We've experienced some die-off, yes. But I've been told Dr. Reed's research may offer a breakthrough. If we could bring her back here... That's not going to happen. Then we need to start considering other options. A nanotech-based solution performed on willing volunteers. And are you volunteering yourself, Doctor? Tiffany, please. I need to look at the raw data, Commander. If you would. I turned a blind eye to your little office romance, Savage. But if she becomes a problem, she will be volunteering. Keitner, I found out what Burke's been concealing. The interrogation wing is some kind of medical testing facility. He's using the prisoners as lab rats. For what? Not sure. I'll need Burke's retinal scan data to find out. I can't download that without setting off a million alarms. <laughs> However, 
Burke's eyes are enhanced, Jensen. He uses special retinal prostheses custom made for him by the Tai Young Medical Corporation. You want me to remove Burke's eyes? Not the ones he's currently using. He just received a new set this evening for when the cargo ship docked. With any luck, you'll find it in his office. Keitner out. Biometric data assembled. Subject recognized. Access granted. Activating security scan. Biometric data assembled. Subject recognized. Access. Granted. Keitner, I've got the eye, but it's not going to fool a retinal scanner unless it's attached to an optic nerve. I know that, Jensen. I do have a plan. Take the eye down to Quinn. He'll know what to do. Keitner, out.
So, what's the story? Just got off the horn with the commander. She says you got something for me to take a look at. Prosthetic eye, one of Burke's. We need it to get past the retino scan, but it's useless like this. I, without an active neural connection, it might as well be an expensive paperweight. <laughs> may as well put a gobstopper in front of the scanner for all the good that thing will do you. Solutions, Quinn. Think you can handle this? Lad, I may be just a mechanic, but I'm also the only thing keeping this whole bleeding facility from sinking into the abyss. Think I can manage a simple optic frequency bypass. Just let me get me tools. Right. So that's it now. You got the eye. Sorry it took a little longer than I expected. Nearly break the damn thing once or twice. New TYM firmware and such. Now don't go fucking around with that. It's only got a limited lifespan due to the temp power source they rigged. It's only good for one use. Got it? Well, hopefully this thing works. It'll work just dandy so long as you don't do something stupid like drop it. And it ain't a bloody webcam. So don't try using it to spy the knickers up someone's skirt. What are you buying? Satisfaction guaranteed. Unless, of course, you fuck it up yourself. So, what's the story? Buy something or bugger off. No refunds. Thank you. 
Activating security scan. data assembled. Subject recognized. Access granted. Activating security scan. Biometric data assembled. Subject recognized. Access. Granted. Access granted. Jensen, it's Keitner. Where are you? In a well-concealed elevator inside the prison's restricted wing. Your gun-running neural engineer deserves a raise. I take it the eye worked then. Good. Now listen, if what you say is true, if Burke really is using the prisoners here as lab rats, I need proof. Hard evidence that I can take to Interpol. An entire prison full of kidnapped civilians isn't enough? You're an ex-cop, Jensen. You tell me. How many death row inmates crying on about their innocence have you seen getting out? Point taken. I'll see what I can find.
Quite the house of horrors you got here, Doc. You letting anyone in, or just women? Who are you? How'd you get down here? This is a restricted area. Obviously. You wouldn't want the rank and file knowing what kind of sick experimentation is going on down here. No, you, you don't understand. I'm not... Where's Burke? And your research partner, Savage? But Burke went back up to the base. And Gary... Gary left. Told me to be smart, keep my mouth shut, and do whatever Burke tells me to do. For now. For now? I heard the three of you talking up there in the morgue. Sounded like you don't exactly fit in here, Dr. Uh... Kavanagh. And who the fuck are you? The name's Jensen. I came here looking for someone. Megan Reed. Reed? I I've seen her research. Gary thinks it could be the key we're missing. If she can be convinced to come here. Megan Reed was kidnapped, Kavanaugh. Violently. As was her entire scientific team and the dozens of women you've been torturing down here. No! You, you don't understand. I'm trying to save them. Gary and I, we were sent here to put the OCM project back on track. It wasn't until we got here that we realized what that meant. And by then, by then it was too late. You're really going to stand there and try to justify your role in this, aren't you? People are being enslaved, Kavanaugh. Enslaved and crucified. It, it wasn't like that at first. I thought we were going to make a difference, do something incredible for the world. Right. And look how incredible it turned out to be. But you can still make a difference, Doctor. You can help me blow the lid off this place. Are you insane? I, I can't. There's too much money invested in this. Burke, the people I work for, they'll kill me. They'll hunt me down and kill me. I know people who can protect you, hide you. Interpol is just waiting for evidence to tear Bell Tower apart. It's not just Bell Tower. Oh, God. Oh, God, am I really gonna do this? <sighs> you... You can't get me out through the prison. Burke would stop us. Then we'll have to do what Savage did. Take a submersible. We can't. The hatches to all the docking hangers are locked tight. The only way to unlock them is by using the security console in the prison command tower. Burke keeps an eye on us that way. Then I'll have to go back up there and unlock it. While you gather as much evidence as you can carry. Oh my god, I'm really gonna do this. Damn right you are. Now get moving. I'll contact you when I unlock the hatch. All right, fine. But Mr. Jensen, please, hurry. Keitner, contact Interpol. We need rendezvous coordinates for a deep-sea submersible. A what? What exactly have you found, Jensen? A research complex hidden beneath this base. One of its staff is willing to turn whistleblower, if we can deliver her to Interpol using one of the lab's transport subs. Which explains why you need the coordinates. I'll see what I can do. Keitner, out. Keitner, what the hell's going on? The elevator stopped. Bert must have intercepted our comms. Get the hell out of there, Jensen. I'll meet you.
now, Sarge. The target must still be down there. Good. Fire team tank would intercept. Lift the secure. Activating security scan. Keitner! We really broke open a hornet's nest, didn't we, Jensen? It's bad. You need a medic. <laughs> yeah, I'll get right on that. Got those coordinates, Jensen. But Burke figured it out. Seized control of the station and locked down the detention camp. Bastard's cleaning house. I've got to get Kavanaugh out. Can't. Not until you stop the gas. What gas? Burke's enacted a scorched earth protocol to stop the truth from getting out. Poison gas in every cell. Lab tube. Unless you stop it. Stay with me, Keitner. There's a circuit board underneath the prison command tower. Directs the flow. Everything's connected, but might be able to redirect. Whistleblower has to live, Jensen. Only sure way. We stop this. Keitner. Keitner. Secure, locked down as...
choice I had of you, Bratan. The prisoners. Always a war. You can't save both. What? The hacker from the ship. You've been listening this whole time? Like Zietke said, everything's connected. Right now, Gas is set to disperse evenly between the prison and the lab. All you can do in here is redirect flow out of one area into the other. Do nothing. Everybody dies. Do something. Somebody dies faster. Precisely. But if you want to bring down Bell Tower, the choice is clear. You killed Whistleblower, Bratan. I want chance to bring our bell tower. Burke killed her. I just prevented him from committing mass murder on top of it. And what's to stop him trying again, Pridurak? Now, you need to take... Security scan. Biometric data assembled. Subject not Corporal Tyler, or should I say Adam Jensen? That's right. I know who you are now. Katna wasn't quite as good at hiding her tracks as she thought she was. Too bad her faith in you was misguided. Do you really think saving the lives of a few worthless civilians could accomplish anything? Do you honestly believe their lives have any relevance at all? Enjoy your pointless victory, Jensen, because without Dr. Kavanaugh's testimony, no one will move against this station. And as we both know now, her contract has been terminated. The Reed woman, this Megan you've been searching for, she's not here. And the only thing standing between you and the ship that could take you to her is me. I underestimated you back on the ship. I won't be doing it again. Lad, you there? Quinn? Where are you? Getting me ours out of Dodge. Someone Burke's had enough. And he's gunning for you. And I don't intend on being caught in the bloody crossfire. But listen, about the gas. I know it wasn't easy, but you did what had to be done. Head to me shop. I left you a thing or two so you can give him hell. I'd like to say we'd meet again over a pint sometime, but... Well, Godspeed, mate.
heard anything from my men, Jensen? Where are you? Have you hunkered down in a closet somewhere? Stone away aboard an enemy ship headed God knows where to balls. Well, my men put an end to you. You've earned that respect from me, at least.
this long, alone, surrounded by trained soldiers out to get you. Very impressive for nothing but an ex-cop. Justify the trail of bodies you leave behind, Jensen. At least I'm striving for a better future.
are almost over, Bratan. Is Bart dead? I'm standing. He's not. Let's just leave it at that. Oh, you don't... Make things easy, do you? Still, with Bart out of the picture even briefly, as a power vacuum I can use. A return to loading bay 2. The doors between here and the docking platform will be open for you. Last time I passed through there, Burke's men were still waiting for me. Not anymore. Burke has just ordered them away. Great. Except I came here looking for Megan Reed, Bratan. I can't leave without knowing. There is a boat heading toward the location as we speak. If you hurry, you can be on it. Bratan. Quinn? I'm afraid our good friend Quinn met with an unfortunate uh, incident during all the commotion and is no longer with us. Your voice. It was you this whole time. Who are you? For the moment, I'm between identities. I apologize for the duplicity, but it was a necessary precaution. You had to be kept in the dark. And Keitner? Did she know? Commander Keitner's perception was much like yours. 
shrouded. She saw what she needed to see and was told what she needed to hear in order for me to complete the mission. So we were both pawns, except she's dead and I'm not. So where does that leave me in your grand design? We are all pawns in someone else's grand design, Mr. Jensen. But that doesn't make Natanya's death any less tragic. A shame you chose not to honor her sacrifice by aligning yourself with us. I couldn't let hundreds of innocent people die just to save one woman. I understand that, but allow me to be blunt. The loss of Dr. Kavna and her knowledge is a blow to humanity greater than the suffering of any group of individuals, innocent or not. It wasn't an easy decision. If I could, I would have saved them all. I do not doubt that, Mr. Jensen. And perhaps you might have, if circumstances had been different. Regardless, although I suppose I should applaud your compassion, I fear it may be for naught. Bell Tower have more than just hired guns at their disposal. And you have left us on uncertain ground. We mustn't stay here much longer, Mr. Jensen, if we hope to get you away from this base. I still have questions, Quinn, and I want answers. Real answers, no more bullshit. You really want to waste time chatting, Bratan? Fine. I will answer what I can, but keep in mind you have a boat to catch. Bell Tower probably has a battalion on its way to clean up this mess. How do you plan on keeping what we did here a secret? I'm delighted to say that Burke did most of the damage control for us. After requesting the profile search on you, he never explained why he needed it. I believe he wanted to keep control of you to himself. Since that time, we've been monitoring all incoming and outgoing communications, and the lockdown allowed me to discreetly install a tunneler, rerouting the base's network traffic. By the time Beltow realizes something is wrong, it'll already be too late. What about the rest of the base personnel? Most of them think Burke is still in command. Technically, Orders continue to be issued in his name, but I'm the one making the calls. I've also taken the liberty of cordoning off this sector of the base. For the moment, at least, we're safe. Burke isn't exactly dead. And once he wakes up, it's gonna get ugly. Like I said before, you haven't made things easier for us. But they haven't forgotten that small detail. For now, Burke remains contained. Once you're off the base, I'll find a more permanent solution. Where's Megan? I don't know for certain. But what I do know is that earlier today, Burke issued orders to have a large group of detainees transferred off this base. Supposedly, they will be assisting at another black site facility. Another one? How many of these sites are there? If we knew that, I wouldn't have gone to all this effort to expose this one, Bratan. Right. You're sure Megan is at this other facility? Nothing is ever certain in life, Mr. Jensen. But it is the best chance you have. Unfortunately, the cargo ship carrying the prisoners has already set sail. But I took the liberty to send out an urgent dispatch in Burke's name, ordering the ship's captain to hold position until one more detainee could be flown on board. In stasis. A helicopter is en route to pick you up. Wait a second. You want me to get inside another stasis pod? Last time I got in one of those things, it didn't go so well. I know it's far from ideal, but frankly, your options are quite limited. Although... I suppose you could try swimming there. Better be the right fucking boat this time. Because I don't feel like coming back here anytime soon. Don't worry, Ned. It'll be grand. Besides, I thought you Americans liked riding off into the sunset.
It's done. Exactly as you instructed. And yet you sound disappointed. You think we should have handled this differently? I think we had a valuable asset in our hands, and we're letting him slip away. He could have been very useful in the coming storm. A hand does not need to be clenched tightly to maintain its hold on someone. Jensen carries too much baggage right now. His obsession with Reed only serves to distract him. We could have told him the truth. He must discover it by himself. And when he does, if you have followed my instructions precisely, we will know how to find him. Assuming he lives that long. Richard, any chance you're still there? Jensen, my god! You've been offline for days. Where the hell are you? I was hoping you'd tell me. I'm pinging you now. You're in... Singapore. Something's wrong, Jensen. I pinged you, and a second later I lost your GPL signal. It's like you disappeared into a black hole. Gotta be a jammer. Well, obviously. If you can find the transmitter and take it offline, I'll be able to track you. And keep you on a tighter leash. I've got more important things to do than help you keep tabs on me. If Megan and her team are here, there's no time to waste. 